That's how we do it. So the other evening I saw this, or during daylight I should say, and I didn't know what it was. I thought maybe it's an RV with a big satellite on the top, which didn't really make sense. And then I th originally thought it was a structure, but who knows what I was thinking. But I knew it was something, so there you go. And it looks like it is a structure. And uh, we're gonna find out exactly what it is. Some silos for cows here. We've got a bunch of cows out at Finney Lake. So these are. Uh, eating cows and when I say eating even though they're eating they're meant for people to eat these are not dairy cows which is interesting how they survive in the heat down here but they manage and there are thousands of them we saw thousands coming in at a different location see if I see any vehicles here yep there's a vehicle there two vehicles three vehicles and a big truck looks like a water truck and this is called sup something sup ride yeah, sup ride. Interesting. can see where we're around here people are fishing up here so it looks like I can go up there I'm gonna wrap to this guy who's fishing come this road because the other road looked like he came on it but it looked like and I'm mistaken I thought it was private property but this is the same road so I don't believe it is State wildlife area.
Hey, brother. Any luck? I just caught a little one right now. Really? You throw it back or you yeah. eat it? No, I don't keep them. You don't mind me talking to you? Really? All right, maybe we'll be lucky. You ever get big enough to eat? Nice. You can tell I live here with those questions. Yeah, I'll show you when I caught a little while ago. Really sweet. What are they? What kind of fish? Largemouth bass. Largemouth bass. Hey, your buddy's over there. Yep. Yeah. Is there a good time to get them? Any time, really. That's right on. Oh, what are you talking about, little? Yeah. I'm little. That <laughs> fish is bigger than me, dude. It's like a four pounder. Really? You don't want to keep a four pounder? I don't keep none of them. Okay, you're Catch a good man. Catch and release. Catch and release, right on. And that's that's what you have to do here? No. Oh, okay. This is a, uh, uh, they kill these for food, right? Right, right. I noticed coming in here, because I'm not from here, obviously, there's another one way down there, too. Yeah, there used to be a lot of them, but there's hardly any now. Hardly any now. Yeah, there used to be. Well, this guy, um, that one, this one, the one down the road, the one down there. Holy smokes. But the biggest one is Brant. He's got over 100,000 heads. 100,000 heads, huh? My goodness. So where are you from? Well, I try not to tell people I'm from California. <laughs> <laughs> but since we're both from here, yeah, yeah you get my drift. Yeah. So you live out in this area, no doubt, huh? I live in Brawley. Brawley, okay. So uh, do you ever go down to Mexicali at all? I used to go all the time, but it's getting too crazy down there now. Too many crazies? Yeah. So from a local, your advice is don't go, Phil. Not unless you got four or five people with you. Now, the safest, you know where Algodonas is? Yeah. That's pretty nice. Right? That's pretty nice down there. A lot of people go there for their teeth and medical. Good tacos. Yeah, I'm looking for those dollar tacos. Yeah, they're good. Right on, man. I'm, I'm going to wait to... you don't go off in the back streets and stuff, you'll be all right. Yeah, well, that's... Yeah, yeah, it's like anywhere. You don't go out at night, don't go back streets. I just wanted to go... I was thinking of taking my bicycle across the border. Forget it? Okay. You probably won't have a bike. Right, right. So you're retired? Well, yeah, not... Officially. Well, I need operations on my knee. And oh, my sorry about that, man. Yeah, getting old isn't easy. It's not for the weak. Nope. Now, see, I used to work at the, the slaughterhouse here in Brawley. I worked there for 18 years. 18 years? What was your position there? Camera operator. A camera? I took pictures of the ribeyes for the USDA. Showed select choice, prime. Interesting profession. I didn't even know they had a guy doing that. Yeah. Not every plant does. So, you know, how do they slaughter them? I don't want to know. They shoot them in the head. With the, they call it a nail gun. It's air, uh, pneumatic air gun. A pneumatic air gun. With the long bolt on it. One time does it though, huh? Doesn't kill them. Just knocks them out. They hang them upside down. Then they slice their throat. Let them bleed out. They start skinning them. And it just goes down the line. So when they uh, when they knock them out, are they feeling that? Okay, they're out. No, they're out. You know, I like that idea. I think they should be starting to do that to more of the uh, government. <laughs> you think so? Yeah. All right, I'm glad we're bonding. Maybe. How are the cops in Brawley? They respect everybody's rights? Yeah, they're pretty good. Pretty good? I mean, you get the asshole there. Yeah, I'm sure. And the wetlands is... It's 
the river right here. Uh huh. River. <coughs> they built ponds to, and they run the water through it to clean it up. Right. It's called the wetlands. Okay, and which is it that way, or the other? No, uh, well, there's three of them actually. But if you go down the road here. Right. And you go all the way down, you hit the road. Right. The paved road. Right. Take a left, you go down. It's called uh, Dietrich or something. Dietrich? Like, I think. Hang so. a left, something like that with a no, D. You hang a right. Hang a right. You go down to uh, 115, the highway. Yep. Turn left, and you'll go across the bridge. Right. And then you'll see a store. You turn right there. Right on. Or actually, the easiest way if you go all the way down this road. Yep, down this road. Yeah, look, and you'll hit 115. Right. Go right, and you'll see a big sign. It says uh, wetlands. Wetlands. And when you say the big road, you're talking the paved road. Right the here. paved road. And then you'll hit 115, the highway. Right on. And I'm looking at the paved road. Is the paved road? Right, right there where the bridge is. Oh, I see it. Yeah, I wasn't. I see where it goes that way. Right on. Right on. Yep. Yep. Cool. Appreciate that. Yeah, you can camp out there for free, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right on. Well, I'm waiting, Wes. You got to get one, buddy. I'm trying. Yeah, you just missed it. I, mean. I know. Well, you showed me the picture. That was pretty sweet. No, I caught that one at the other place. Oh, okay. Okay. What's the name of this farm? Is there, or not farm, but... Hanning Yard. Hanning? Hanning. Hanning. I saw a sign that said Sup Ride over there. Sup Ride? Uh, uh, uh. It was weird. A yellow sign on the other side of the building there. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Hanning Ride, right on. Hanning, Hanning Branch. Hanning Yard. Hanning Yard. So the one dude that, right there. oh there it is, yeah, hand and yard. So there's one guy that had a hundred thousand, or he does now, and this guy's separate. Yeah. How many does he have? Do you know? I don't know. No. All right, I'm not a cop. I just he, find it of interest. The, Brant's the big, the main man. Brant. He's the one that owns the the slaughterhouse. Where's he live, Brawley? No. Beverly Hills. No got more than one house. Yep. Who would have thought that? Yeah. Well, he doesn't have a lot of sick ones. How do they determine who's sick? They do a daily spot on all these? Nose running, coughing. Right, but how, how they, man, with so many, how do they determine that? Well, when they load, load them and unload them, you can Oh. Unless you have a guy driving around all the time. Okay, I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. But still. With their head hanging down. Okay, you, certain traits they got to look for. Yeah. Wow. Interesting. Well, let me scoot down here. So in your day, you were catching 30-pound Corvinas and croakers at the Salton Sea. Yep. Wow. That's impressive. People used to water ski in it. Yeah, water ski. I've been, I was checking out those old videos. Yeah. It's pretty nice, man. Well, sorry, my man, you're going to be somebody's uh, dinner. And it's not going to be me.
Okay, thank you for coming to today's seminar. I want to advise all of you that you do have a right to record in public. Never answer a cop's questions unless you've broken the law and never show ID unless you've broken the law. Remember that. If you don't use your rights, you'll lose your rights. They're like muscles. You got to exercise them. I can see all of you are listening up. And for that, I say God bless you. Never, ever talk to cops or show ID. Remember that. I got a few more coming over to get the seminar. Come on in, fellas, and come on in, ladies and gentlemen. Come on in, move in. You've heard the spiel, you can hear it again. Never, ever talk to cops and never show ID. Unless you've broken the law. God bless all of you. And may you have all peace in heaven. So you got some big ones in here, five, six pounds. Nice. So how are you doing it? You drag it at the bottom? Yeah, just bounce it off the bottom. Bounce it off. So, how old are the cows before they get slaughtered? 18 months. 18 months. After that, they're considered old age. Old age, huh? Over 30 is old. Well, when they kill them, they paint their spinal cords purple to show that they're old. Oh, I gotcha. <coughs> okay. Still tastes good, but just the way they do it. So then they just keep multiplying here, huh? Keep breeding more here. Only, only steers. Only steers. But every once, every Thursday we would do mama cows. Okay. Mama cows. Okay. Well, I was talking to the cows earlier, and I said, "Ladies and gentlemen," so I have to take that back. There's only men here. Steers. Steers. They ain't got no wheels. Steers got no huevos. Gotcha. Huevos rancheros. You ever eat them? Uh, mm, bull balls? Yeah. No, but I, that's something I would eat. Where do you get them? Yeah, you can't really find them. Really. No, I guess not. I bet they're tasty. Oh, yeah. When I worked at the one down the road, we'd kill one every week. Wow. We'd, when they come in, we cut all the balls off, so we'd have a big old nut fry every Friday. It sounds pretty good. I'm just thinking, how many people tried bull balls, and after that they turned gay? That's a good question. So this is this was originally what for them to drink? Yeah, Adam. This is their drinking water. Oh, this is their drinking water. Yeah. So how do they... It's usually a lot cleaner. But they, it's piped into there rather than they don't physically come here, right? No, it's piped in and then it's piped through those things over there right. all the water troughs. So how often are they filling this thing? They fill them with tanks? Yeah. Or is this... It's, whenever, like it's pretty low right now. It'll come on here pretty soon. Yeah. You see how those are separated? Yeah. Those are sick ones. Those are sick ones. Oh, they got the separation. Yeah. And when they get the sick ones, do they just let them perish or they don't get vets or nothing? No, they'll, they'll, they'll have the vets coming. Oh, they will? Yeah. That's interesting because. You don't want to lose all that money. No, well, I got a buddy who's got about 1,200 goats. And if one gets lame or any, they never take it. It gets sick, they don't put it down. They just wait to see if it gets better, give it some antibiotics, and that's about it. So this must be the guy that owns all of these hundred. It must have been from family for many years, huh? Yeah. 
he got dialed in at the right time. And like I say, there used to be hundreds of feedlots down here, not no more. No more. There's only Brants, Fosters, You look down, there's big old tanks over there. Yeah, yeah. That's they feed the, all the corn for all the cattle in the right. Valley. So, where do you get good uh, Mexican food in Brawley? Is there one place you like? Uh, jumping bean is really good. Jumping bean, uh, oh, okay. You know where Walmart is? Yeah, I okay. camped overnight there. Okay, it's right there by uh, what's the coffee place called? What, Starbucks? Starbucks. Yeah, I hate Starbucks, but at least yeah. I know it's a landmark where to go to Jumping Bean. Nobody's slamming down like in carts, dollar, dollar twenty-five yeah. tacos, are they? Yeah. Every once in a while you'll catch them on uh, Main Street. Main Street, huh? By the post office. Okay. Or they'll have bacon wrapped hot dogs. Okay. Is, it, is that during the weekday or just weekends? Mainly weekends. Weekends. Good news, man. I'm always on the hunt for a good taco. But uh, jumping beans is a little expensive, but it's worth it. Like, what do you get? Like two tacos and uh, two tacos. rice and beans, how much? Eight bucks? Well, the tacos are like four bucks, I think. But they're pretty. How many can you chow down to get full? Two? Three? Three? I'm pretty full. You're pretty I'm three? <laughs> but uh, then they have one, it's called uh, uh, carne asada quesadilla. Right. It just looks like a taco. Right. Have you gotten into birria? Birria? Yeah, birria? Birria. Birria. So yeah, that's tasty. Once I had the birria, I, I, bi, I you know, once I had the <laughs> bee, I'll just call it the bee. I don't want to, I don't want to insult you. That, El Pastor is good El too. Pastor is good too, man. Yeah. Yeah. It's good stuff. So what are you seeing with real estate in Brawley? Is it just depleted? Is it maintaining? Uh, they're building everywhere. They're building everywhere, huh? Yeah. No kidding. Yeah. A little crazy, I think, but yeah, they're building everywhere. Over by Walmart, everywhere. So you grew up here? Yes, sir. Right on. My name's Phil, by the way. My name's Wes. Wes? Wes. Wes. Nice to meet you, Wes. Wes, Wes I'll call you Wes. I don't know if you can camp overnight at some beam. Okay, but I can over there. Yeah. Uh, what do you, they, they got showers there or anything? They got showers, bathrooms, everything. Right there. Right on, I'll check it out. Well, you had to drive right by the lake. If you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, cool. Thank you for telling me that, Wes. I'll check it out. Yeah, I got no major plans. I just got to be back uh, whenever I feel like it. <laughs> Yeah, man. It's three hundred a month, everything included. Three hundred a month, everything included.
Okay guys, Weast Lake, and here are the park rules. No intoxicating beverages, must leash pets six feet max, no loud weapons, oh no loaded weapons, no open fires on ground, park closed 10 p.m. camping and elect register at office. Here's the post office lady. This is a good gig, huh? This is a good gig. Not too bad. You don't got to deal with people other than me say, talking to you. All right, stay good. Bye, -bye. Bye now. Have a good one. Wow, a postal person that was actually nice. Here are the park fees. You got a good gig. How's it going, sir? How's it good, buddy? You hear me? Yeah. I said you got a good gig. Oh, you like it? Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Yeah. I'm not from here. I don't want to. I'm from California, which uh -huh. is bad enough, but <laughs> it's pretty sweet here. So I met a couple guys. They told me it's 300 a month long term. Over there, full right. hookup, uh huh? Yeah, with full hookup, uh -huh. killer deal, or three dollars a day, no hookup. Yeah, but no hookup is seven dollars. No hookup a day is seven. Dry camping. Dry this, camping. This dry camping area, right? How many? Do they have full hookups for the day? For dry camping, no. Okay, so it's only dry camping or a monthly. Oh, you're talking about daily for the for over there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, I, it's uh ten dollars. Like ten bucks, day, and yeah. you get full hookups. Yeah, I, I need to check actually. You wanna... Yeah, yeah, man. So what? You work. Uh, what do you, this holiday, what do you, they got grinding you seven day week? Uh, we got a weird schedule, but yeah, we work on the, on the, on the weekend. All right, well, make it while you can. Oh, that's cool. Right on, thank you. You got an RV or what? Yeah. Yeah, I'm at Finney right now. Oh, okay, yeah. So, oh, this is nice and cool in yeah, 30, here. Thirty dollars full hookup. Oh, thirty. You got, you got me all scared. Yeah, no, 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 thirty dollars. <laughs> got me all scared. No, it's all good. It's all good. So what do you do? You just maintain, what's we, your... We maintain the park, you know, make sure uh, people follow regulations, park regulations. Right, right. Pretty good. Well, you're a, you're a, a cordial guy. My name's Phil. Hi, Marcos. Marcos, nice, to, nice meet to meet you. Here, let me get a screenshot of Phil and Marcos. <laughs> See, I'm the taller one. <laughs> right on. All right, sir. Hey, I appreciate it, Marcos. You have a good day. How are you too? Yeah, yeah. I'm glad, I'm glad I met you, man. Showing me I didn't have to figure it out to 30. 
But that's a sweet deal, yeah. 300. A month, uh-huh. Yeah, and you're only, what, six miles from Brawley? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Where are you, the Brawley, I guess, huh? Oh, myself? Yeah. No, from Old Boom. Where's that? Mm, like 10 miles to the okay. east. Okay. I'm not a cop, I just find it interesting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's cool. Is, is it a big, it's a small town? Oh, yeah, so yeah, like 5,000 people. Oh, you got a supermarket and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, two right. gas stations, one market. How do you spell it? Holtville, H O. Holtville. Holt. Gotcha. Yeah. H O L T. I graduated fifth. I can spell that. <laughs> right on. And the and these guys, do they have? Do they pay to do that? Yeah, yeah, it is a fee. And where do they drop the money? With us. We have. A, I have my books. Oh, so you got to. You come out. Well, you must. You ever, dude? Have you ever thought of strapping a GoPro when these people try to get in your face or anything? <laughs> I but, haven't had any problems. Either. Not yet. Well, you're not getting one from me. <laughs> All right, Marcos. Have a good right, one, bud. Thank you. Bye now. All right, guys. That was Marcos, the uh, County Parks Division Ranger. So that's a pretty sweet deal. 300 a month. Okay guys, I am in the campground of Weist and uh, I'm checking this out. How you doing, sir? I'm doing great. Right on. My, my name's Phil. Nice to meet you. My name's Byron Winters. Byron Winters? Winters. Winters. Nice Pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to meet you, sir. Uh, I, I, don't call me sir, it'll go to my head. Okay. I'm just Phil. <laughs> All right, Phil. So this is a pretty sweet spot, 300 a month. Yes. And uh, you're living the dream. Yes. This is a nice rig. Yeah. This is a, and uh, Tell me, how long have you been here? I've been here a little over three years. Three years? And where are you from originally? I'm, I'm from here. I, I traveled for 20 years construction all over the South Oak. And uh, I retired to visit with my parents. Visiting your parents? Yes. Visiting your parents, I had to move the bike. Visiting your parents, huh? Yeah, before they passed away, so I, I retired here. All right, Marcos, drive safe. If you drink and drive, always have a cup holder, man. Liquor's expensive. So this is home to me. Uh, I love it here. You can't beat the winters. The winters are the best. Uh, summer's harsh, but hey, man, air conditioner. And uh, I love it here. I wouldn't live anywhere else. I love it here too, man. And you're dialed in. You get well. What? Okay, you got some branches over here, huh? Yeah. Uh, last September, I had actually had a tree fall on my trailer, but uh, everybody was cool. The park, they got a forklift, got it off. I got it semi-repaired. Uh, no harm to me. Right. And I'm happy. You're happy. Insurance cover it, or? Oh yes. Sir. Sweet. Now, which tree was it from? This one. It's from over here. Over here, man. Well, I love it because this is probably, well, what's so nice about it is all of these are big trees and you get the shade. Oh, yes, I love it. And what's nice, too, is you got an end spot. 50 watts here. 50, huh? Yeah. yeah. So, You're all dialed in, man. Yeah. You're all dialed in. And this is a really nice place. Good people. The, the park rangers are the yeah. best. Yeah, they seem very nice meeting me. Uh, How many people live in this park full time? Uh, at any given moment, there will probably be about 15 trailers in here. 15. It's kind of shy right now, but they're start uh, slowly filling up right now. I'm, I'm sure it's going to get filled up quick too, man. So who's the oldest in here long term, like 20 years? Uh, no, 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 20 years. No. no, but three years is a good length of time. Yeah, yeah, I love it, like you said. Uh, and when you traveled the country doing construction, you were living in this rig? Oh, yes, sir. Right on. Right here, you got to be mobile in construction. That's it. The job's done, you're going to the next one. What is that, about a 42-footer? Uh, 38? It's a uh, 40-footer. 40-footer, all right. Right in the middle. I was close. Very nice. Very nice, and you got a nice... Uh, Four by four, man, you're you're living the dream, bud. Uh, this thing will pull a house down. Oh yeah. I just cleaned it out. Really? I, I neglected it, 
If you want some help, I'll do it for you. I'm glad to help you, Byron. I need to exercise. Okay, okay. All right, well, listen, it was a pleasure talking to you, Byron. Pleasure talking to you. Have you, uh, have you ever hit the Jumping Bean Mexican restaurant in Brawley? Uh, no, I haven't. Do you know a good Mexican joint around anywhere here? Uh, you know what? Uh, all, all the all the food, all the Mexican restaurants. They're good, huh? Yeah. Yeah, there's one on the plaza there, Sophie's. Sophie's, huh? Yeah, it's really good. Okay, uh, okay. So. Yeah, I talked to a couple guys, they were fishing over at uh, Hannon Yard, and the one guy told me that you, every now and then on the weekends you can find a cart that's slinging like $1.25 tacos. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Also, uh, Brownies Diner. Brownies. They got really good. I eat there. I eat there every morning. Okay. Breakfast. Okay. And uh, they're they're very good. How much? How much? I didn't mean to interrupt you. Go ahead. Go ahead. How much can you chow down for a breakfast for? What do you get for your money? Uh, I get I get a half order of biscuits and gravy, cup of coffee. Right. And with a, a good tip, it costs me about ten dollars. Okay, that's livable. It, yeah, yeah. That's, that's livable. You know, prices there. That's what you're paying every day to live here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I, you know, I could be here. I buy my, I'm by myself, so I go in there. We got a group of guys. Cool. You got go some buddies. And, Good. And solve all the world's problems. Right. And everything every morning. Well, you're not working hard enough because uh, we got too goddamn many of them in this uh, country. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm kidding you, man. I'm yeah, kidding you. Yeah, it's all good, though. You know, we have fun. Right. We meet every morning. Right. It's, it's neat. That's so. good, man. You got I, like, I like to patronize the local business. I'm with you. Plus, you, know, you got the nature here, the birds. Oh, yeah. Therapy. And the feral cats. And across the road, we got a pack of coyotes at night. Nice. Got a free dirt across there. Right, right, right. Hands. Beautiful spot, man. I'm glad I came here. I'm glad I met you. And I'm going to give you one more uh, handshake. And next time I'm down here, I'm going to look you up. Right, if you're sure. here, I'm going to come by and we'll chat again. It's a pleasure to, pleasure meet, you. to meet you. Maybe we'll go to Brownies even. We will. Okay. Welcome. Have a good one. You take care. Huh? Okay, bye now. Okay, everybody, that was Byron. Uh, let's just continue on down the road here. Yeah. You got a little one here. Three hundred a month. You are packed in close, but if you got an end spot, you're good. And then we got people up here in their vans. I'll tell you what, I could easily live here for three bones a month. These are on pads here. And the trees, it was more wooded at the end where we just were. But they got the little marina there. And we got these pads here, fire pit. Pretty sweet, everybody. If you're living off Social Security, not a bad way to go. If you're getting like 800, 1200 a month, you can survive. This is a good lifestyle. How big of a house do you need? You don't need much. Place to sleep, place to eat, and place to shit. This is probably the caretaker's house. A nice water tank, he's all dialed in. Outhouses. 
What more do you need, people? Pretty sweet. Bathrooms there, showers. That takes talent. I'm not from here. Where did you guys come from? Here. Oh, you live right here? Right. Yeah, in Brawley. In oh, Brawley. Very nice. Yeah. Where are you from? I tried to tell people I'm Canadian because I don't want them to know I'm from California. <laughs> right. Where's the best uh, Mexican restaurant in Brawley? Somebody said Jumping Bean. I've never been to Jumping Bean. They just don't. Oh, the best. What's the name? Tabela. What are you doing? Tabela's? Waiting on you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, Jumping Bean's okay. Right on. You guys have a great day. There's always an uneducated person wherever you go. Well, that was fun. Loading the dock, loading the boat in the dock. And the guy doesn't want his kids uh, videotaped. First he says, don't film me. Now I don't want my kids filmed. Okay, sir. Boom. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this little uh, visit to Weast Lake and the marina here and the trailer park. Shout out to Byron for sharing his knowledge and taking the time with me. So without further ado, We'll catch you on the next one. Boom, let's do it.